And he's a dangerous sod, you know. I think he likes to hurt people. He doesn't stop at women. And, as we know, you were looking for a way to get even. And what better way than for Jippo Jake to pinch his wife? Only, I very nearly overplayed my hand. What, what, what you, you mean, you... Uh... No. No, nothing happened. There's nothing between me and Helen. Well, nothing that Mr. Wright can't fix. In that case, we haven't got a moment to lose. And no more bull about not jumping. Hello. Mrs. Kilbert will take the children up, Helen. I suppose you'll be wanting a bed for the night Hello. too, Jake. No, thanks, Melise. I'll sleep in my own bed tonight. There you go. You're going back to the mill house? Yes, of course. Tori's home. Every time I called your mother, she swore blind you weren't there. Well, I told her to. I thought it would add authenticity. Well, you certainly went for it, so why not the press? <sighs> you know something? I was terrified you hadn't believed me. Well, actually, I didn't at first. It was only when my mother kept banging on about how right she was and how awful you were, I realised you were telling the truth. If that doesn't sound too Irish. Actually, there was another reason for my taking off. I wanted you to stop and, well, take a good look at us. I discovered all sorts of things. Most of all, that what you say, or in your case, what you don't say, it doesn't make any difference to how you feel. I know how I feel about you. And I think I know how you feel about me. Even though you don't say. You wouldn't have told me about you and Helen otherwise if you didn't trust me or... Yes? Well, some people don't have to say things. Some things can just be felt, the way you and I feel things. I knew you were on your way back home tonight. Yeah. Just as I knew that you'd be here. And that's how it is with some people, isn't it, Jakey? You don't always have to say things. No. Because if you do... It, you know, it, it just comes out wrong. Peter morning. What the hell kept you? Do you have any idea what time it is? Walked it. Guess who was there? Guess who needs a bed for the night? Bonsoir, Jacques. Ça va? Bonsoir, Guy. Ça va? Madame. Hello, Guy. Barcelona, here we come. <laughs> And as you rejoin us here at Hackmere on this cold and blustery day, the news is that in the jump off for the Grand Prix, we have six of the eight riders on the Olympic shortlist. 
And since this is the last trial before Arken, by the time we all go home, we should have a pretty good idea of the final team. And the battle for the places is really hotting up, with Rupert Campbell Black, who until recently was practically a cast iron certainty, now struggling for his place due to a sudden loss of form. While on the other hand, holding their form well, are his rivals Billy Lloyd Fox and Humpty Hamilton. And right up there too in contention and back in form is the crowd's darling Fenella Maxwell. Lavinia Greenslade and Fiona McFadden are by no means out of it, having both won big classes at Windsor last week. And neither, following his astonishing three wins in a row on Mr Hardy, is Jake Lovell. Everyone connected with the sport is delighted to see him not only back after his horrific accident, but apparently jumping better than ever. First to jump is Fenella Maxwell on Macaulay. That must be too tight into the planks. She's not on stride. And they're down. The planks are down. Still no clears. Let's see how Lavinia Greenslade comes to the planks. Because she's very fast at this point. She's gone outside the double, which must slow her down. Four vaults. This really is proving to be the bogey fence. And Billy Lloyd Fox has got the planks down. Before the jump off, they all thought the last fence would be the one to watch, not these ordinary looking planks. You can cut in if you don't straighten up. Jump it on the angle. Yes, yeah, how we all screwed up. No. Uh, come to the double, but hold the line, and then push on straight for the corner. Straight for the corner. Next in the You're jump not just off. A pretty Jake Lovell on Mr. Hardy. This round is make or break for Jake. With the least wins of all the Olympic contenders, he has to defeat this bogey gate and win the Grand Prix to stand any chance of being selected. He's got to go clear. He just can't cut inside the double and get back on the stride. Slow and steady. Quite right, too. In case he wins. Now, the last to jump. Rupert Campbell Black on Rockstar. Well, it's a simple equation, Leonora. If Campbell Black wins, he goes, and if Lovell wins, he goes. There's one place between two. Well, that's what it looks like. And it looks as though he's going to go for it. Well, he's damn well got to, hasn't he? Right. 